Hello everyone, welcome to or back to the channel. My name is Hunter Hauk and I have a lot of reptiles and amphibians and in today's video, I am going to be feeding every single one of them. So this is a very highly requested video and it's going to be a kind of long video so I'm going to make my intro very short but I just wanted to say that I do have a snake, but she's gonna be fed at the very end. So you can watch the whole video and I will put a little warning on the screen before I feed my snake, just in case you are not comfortable with that. I would definitely recommend you watching the whole thing because it's not, it's not graphic or anything. But if that's not something you're interested in, definitely watch until that disclaimer or warning and I'll give you plenty of time to click off and I think that you're all really gonna enjoy this video. So if you have any questions about any of the animals I'm feeding, definitely comment down below. And also know that they're not all getting like big meals in this video because I kind of just gave them like treats because I kind of decided to film this video last minute. So it wasn't feeding day for everyone. That only happens like every three weeks where it all lines up on the same day. And I didn't want to wait three weeks to give you this awesome video. If you do enjoy what you see today, be sure to subscribe. And without further ado, Let's get into the video. Enjoy. First up, we have my beautiful bearded dragon, River. Today, she's eating some small dubia roaches and a few mealworms. She doesn't get these often, but it's just a little treat for her. Next up is Pippin, my beautiful blizzard leopard gecko. Today wasn't her feeding day, so she's just getting a couple little treat insects. This one right here is a dubia roach. Pippin decided she was hungry for dubia roaches and feeding tongs. Pippin may not have been hungry for her superworm, but Peyton is. to see it's the way 
I guess Peyton doesn't want to do Beer Roach. See ya, Peyton. Next up is Persephone. Persephone is my little Woodhouse's toad who had kind of a rough start to life, and I'm very happy to say that I have gotten her back to a healthy, happy toad. Now, I have a video all about her start, so I'll link it in the top right corner. As cute as she is, she's not very smart, so she decided to eat a chunk of moss, so I had to pick her up and get it out of her mouth. So let's try eating the mealworm this time, Persephone. You've got this. And then it was time to feed the white's tree frogs. Now, unfortunately, my white's tree frogs are dealing with a bacterial infection, so they are separated and they are on medicine, which I will show you here in a little bit how I give Parker his medicine. This first white's tree frog who we're gonna feed is Prada. Prada was very sleepy, so she took a minute to realize that it was food that I was putting in front of her instead of me just trying to bug her. She was like, hmm. But as soon as she figured out it was food, she's like, hey. You'll notice she's a lot darker than she typically is, and that's because she was just sleeping in a darker part of the enclosure. White tree frogs do that so that they can camouflage and hide from predators. Prada decided that she wanted nothing to do with food on this fine afternoon, but Parker, he brought his appetite. He thought that was delicious. You'll have to excuse the hard water stains on the front of the enclosure because I have hard water where I live and I really need to take some vinegar water and clean that off. Time for round two. Now the food part was fun, but now it is time for the not so fun part and that is giving the frogs their medicine. Now, I didn't film Prada because she's not a very good sport, but Parker I did, and you'll see here I tap his lip with a guitar pick to get him to open up and think it's food, and then I stick the syringe in his mouth and squirt it in. I'll make a whole video about this in the future. Alright everyone, that was all of my lizards and amphibians, and now it is time for me to feed Briar my little plains hognose snake. So if you're not interested in seeing my snake eat, then click off right now, no hard feelings, but I would encourage you to continue watching because I think that you can learn something from it or even just see how cute my adorable snake is. There's nothing graphic or anything, so I would encourage you to continue watching. Since I just have one snake and she's very small, I buy my frozen thawed pinky mice just in six packs and they each come in an individually wrapped plastic bag. Now I have them defrosting in the fridge for a few hours so that they're completely thawed and then I just put them in hot water like a tea bag until they are the body temperature 
of what a pinky mouse would be in the wild so that Briar recognizes them as food. I check them with a laser thermometer to know when they're ready. Now it's time to find Briar. Finding a tiny little snake in a very big enclosure is not always an easy process, so I have to take everything out and then find her, and then I have to put everything back in before she'll eat. Now it's time to offer her the mouse. Typically she just gets angry at it but doesn't quite know how to strike at it, so I always give her a shot to eat it just normally in her enclosure before I put her in what we call the box of shame. This was a term coined by my friend Michaela who was originally fostering Briar and basically it's where you put a deli cup with a tiny little bit of their substrate just so that they can smell themselves and feel comfortable. And then you put the mouse in there and then I just tap Briar to make sure that she's gonna strike at the tongs if she's gonna strike at anything and not me. And then I pick her up and put her in this little deli cup because that way she can have some privacy and be able to easily find the mouse. I then put on the lid, but I don't put it on super tightly because it's not exactly like she's gonna go anywhere if she escapes the cup. She can just go back into her enclosure, and then I kind of bury it a little bit, and then I sprinkle a little bit of her substrate on there, enough to block out most of the light and sound, but I obviously leave enough for air to be able to flow in and out, and then I shut off the lights. Of course, first, I have to put in her favorite fake little plant. Lights out. Now it's time to wait two or three hours, and in two or three hours, just like that, she's eaten the mouse. It's best not to handle your snake for a while after they've eaten, so right here I'm not trying to pick her up, but I'm just trying to get her to not go out onto my floor because then I would have to pick her up. I'm just doing this so that I can get her back into her enclosure so she can settle down. Nightbriar. All right, now you have seen all of my reptiles and amphibians eat in this video today. Right now, I would like you to comment down below and tell me which is your favorite because I don't know which my favorite is to feed. I think River, my bearded dragon, she is just so enthusiastic, so I love feeding her, but also the white tree frogs, especially when they are together in their enclosure, they are super aggressive eaters and it's so funny. They're very food motivated, so they're always a fun one to eat too. So, they're always a fun one to eat too, but let me know which one is your favorite. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so more people can see it. It seriously helps out a lot, and definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see more of these awesome videos. I plan to make a very exciting video coming up soon where I'm going to be traveling to Minnesota to collab with 10, excuse me, 9 other reptile YouTubers and Emily and Ed from Snake Discovery. So if you want to see that, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm very excited. If you want to support the channel, definitely think about joining the Patreon. You can get exclusive behind the scenes content for as little as $1 per month or checking out my merch. I have a plant propagating in this right now, but I have a leopard gecko design and a white street frog design. So lots of cool stuff. That's at shop.hunterhawk.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, goodbye.